What's going on guys? It's your boy French Rican coming back with another video on how to make coquito. Coquito is a traditional Spanish drink in the Caribbean, Puerto Rico. A lot of people make it for the holidays, special occasions, or give it as gifts. Uh, it was originated in the Caribbean in Puerto Rico in the sugarcane fields with coconut milk. After the U.S. came to Puerto Rico, they switched it up a little bit, taking their play on eggnog and using their own ingredients to turn it into what today is now known as coquito. Uh, what you're going to need is... Alright, so this is what you're going to be needing. We're going to need three inch cinnamon sticks, one container, two cans of condensed sweetened milk, two cans of evaporated milk, fat free or regular is your choice, some coconut milk, and some coconut cream. To make our tea, we're going to need whole cloves, half a container, one tablespoon of star anise, or anise, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, and I put four tablespoons of vanilla extract. You can always make it to your taste, but this is how I make it. Um, yeah, so let's begin. Guys, what we're going to start with is making the tea. This is going to be basically a background flavor for the coconut, so it's not just pure coconut. It actually won't be too strong. You actually probably won't even really taste it. It'll just subtle the coconut flavor and make it a little bit more smooth. So this is what we're going to use to make our tea. Alright, so to make our tea, I've already added one package of cinnamon sticks. We're going to do two just because I'm going to make the flavor a little bit better, a little stronger. You can choose one or you can go with two as well. Get the second one going in now. Then we're going to add two cups of water. It's hard to do and look at the same time. After our water's in, we're going to take our whole cloves, add those in there. Then we're going to take our one tablespoon of star anise or anise, and we're going to add that in there. Now, the anise is a black licorice flavor, so if you're not a big fan of licorice black licorice don't add a lot I'm only adding a little bit just to add a very subtle taste so we are going to set this on high and we're gonna let that boil when it comes to a rolling boil you turn it down to medium and let it simmer for five ten minutes you want to extract all the flavors and blend them so when uh, we get to boiling we'll be back all right guys we're back we brought it up to rolling boil We've turned our heat down to a medium heat, and we are going to let it simmer for another 10 minutes or so until we get a nice rich color out of that. And when that's finished, in about 10 minutes, we'll be back to continue. Alright guys, now that our tea has finished simmering, we have reached a nice dark color that we wanted if we can get it in there check that out it's nice so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the juice out of this with a strainer and a measuring cup easy peasy and we're going to put this in the fridge to cool for about half hour or so all the ingredients are typically made room temperature or cold so we want to get this down to a chill and uh, we'll be right back. All right guys, we're back. Our tea has cooled and we are ready to mix the rest of the ingredients. Now the order doesn't matter. You can just throw it all in the pot. We are going to only add one cup of the tea that we made. Um, if you add more than that, it'll probably be a little too strong. So just add one cup of that tea into your mix. And we are going to throw all of this into a pot. Um, once all this is in the pot, oh, can't forget our vanilla, but once this is all in the pot, you can use a whisk and stir it, or you can use one of those electric blenders and, well not a blender, but a mixer, electric mixer, and it'll do just fine. Uh, just get it to a nice creamy consistency, and you should be all good. Alright guys, we're back. All our ingredients are blended, and we are ready to put it in the containers. Now some people like to put it back in the Bacardi bottles or empty wine bottles so they can re-gift. 
I keep it simple and I put them in the pint mason jars. It seems to work just fine. So this is our end result right here. Looks good, tastes good. And these are our jars that we're gonna fill up. And we'll be right back once these are done with my comments. All right guys, we've finished up our batch of coquito. I yielded about seven jars of the pint jars and one big one for myself. Um, we're gonna give it a taste and see how it goes. I did use uh, two cups of the rum. I didn't add any more, didn't add any less or take any less. So now keep in mind it is fresh so it will have a, a different smell until you let it sit and, and blend all the way. But that's damn good. I am very happy with that. Uh, some people like to throw some nutmeg in there, you can. I didn't do that yet, I do that when I'm about to drink them. I did throw cinnamon sticks in here though, add to the flavor. So, with that being said, I want to send my best wishes out to everybody in Puerto Rico who went through that bad hurricane. And I wish you guys all my best. Anybody out there watching this, um, check with your local authorities, town halls, and if you guys want to donate, you know, see what you can do. I mean, I'm sure everybody down there is going to appreciate it, you know. Yeah, it's horrible. So, with that being said, if you guys tried this recipe, let me know what you think of it. Um, smash that like button, subscribe, comment. Let me know what kind of videos you guys like to see. Um, what do you guys want out there? I plan on doing a bunch more, so I hope you guys enjoy this. And uh, as always, it's your boyfriend's weekend. Live, love, enjoy. Take it easy.